Hey everyone, Jamie Donnelly here. Happy Friday. And today I wanted to talk about, you know, why I got started internet marketing and a little bit about my story and my past. Um, I was born in 1984. I'm 29 years old. I had my high school reunion uh, just this past year. I graduated high school in 2003. I was born premature. I only weighed a, a, a pound and a half. And I was pretty much told, of, you know, I wouldn't make it. So I was definitely a miracle baby. And I had a lot of complications and a lot to get through. And when I was eventually sent home, I think it was right before my year birthday, I still looked like an infant. I was still really small. But um, I was sent home and I was on a heart monitor and an oxygen tank for a while. And I always had to be watched 24-7 because every now and then I would break out into a seizure and stuff. Even though I don't have them now, I guess I grew out of them or however that works. But, um, so, you know, school, school was always a struggle for me, but I did graduate high school and I did pick a tech school and graduate with a computer software specialist in 2005. And, um, I worked a lot of office jobs, you know, the first one was a really small company and right before my, my year, um, they pretty much weren't doing good. And so they let me go, and I think the company pretty much went under after that. And then my second big job was a law firm, and I started out as a receptionist. But I was also doing legal secretary work and paralegal work. They were showing me how to do pretty much do everything. And um, right before my year again, you know, the economy really started taking a turn, and I was laid off for that one as well. Actually, they cut the law firm in half. There was about 12 people laid off. And, you know, for for a while, I just, unemployment, you know, and um, I got another law firm job, and it wasn't what I wanted. It was family law. It was, oh, um, got divorces, bankruptcies, foreclosures. I was miserable. <laughs> I was, and I'm very sensitive, so every time I see someone go through a divorce or lose everything, I'll be crying with them in the office, and my attorney's, like, looking at me like, Oh, geez. <laughs> She's like, you're not cut out for this. And after nine months of being miserable doing that, um, I mean, I love the people in the office, but the work wasn't for me. I told them to find somebody else. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I was looking, I was unemployed again, looking, looking, and, you know, I'd been at this job for over three years, and I just started feeling stuck. It was another um, small company. And the pay wasn't really good because the economy was so bad, but I had to take it because I, I had bills to pay. You know, I was already racked up in debt with credit cards from being laid off so many times and, and uh, almost lost my vehicle, but, you know, I saved it. <laughs> and so, I mean, while I was saving my job, I was like, there has to be, you know, a better way. I, I felt stuck and I wanted to get unstuck for myself. I wanted to live the dream lifestyle I always had in my head and and I knew I could live, you know. And I at the time, you know, I didn't I didn't have confidence in myself. I my self esteem was really, really low. Um, and that's due because the, you know, past relationships I was in, um and the guys that came in and out of my life, um, none of them were good at all. And all they did was, you know, bring me down and um or with other girls in front of me, cheated on me, um, tell me I should look like something that I'm not. I actually <laughs> had one guy go down a list from head to toe and tell me exactly um, what he thought was wrong with me and why. Like, he would never give a chance. And it's like, how can, like, someone do that? Like, I, I, don't, un I don't understand. I was like, cause I have a huge heart and I would never, you know, put someone someone down like that because words are so powerful and the sad thing about it is is yeah I, I believed him it was so because I had no confidence already from the past guys you know and once I finally got the courage to talk to a guy that's what I got <laughs> and it, it, it's just so sad you know um what people say to people and how they bring them down don't don't believe it because you, you're so special in every way and um so you know when I first got started with internet marketing 
I didn't have the confidence or anything. I had to work on my personal development big time. And my leaders saw that. My leaders got and um we're really we're, we're pretty close. And he just kept giving me audio after audio and uh and like books. He kept giving me ebooks and it's like read, do this, do that. And so I started doing it and that you know, after I've been in this company for like ten months now. And I started working on my confidence. And so many people are seeing changes in me. And I I couldn't be happier that I got started. I couldn't be more grateful for Scott for, you know, being there for me and just lifting me up when I really, really needed it. And I'm just a whole new person now. I'm me doing videos. If you met anybody that went to high school, me to like, oh my, I was the girl who never wanted to do presentations in front of the class. I would cry <laughs> and beg my teacher, please, I don't want to do it. Just give me a zero because I don't want to go up there. That's how scared I was. And now I'm facing my fears and I'm doing this because I know it's important because I know there's probably a lot of people like me out there. And that's what's holding him back from success because that's what was holding me back for so long. And, you know, my why is I, I want a house on the beach with my, when you know, when I have a family. I want to homeschool my kids. I, I don't ever want to put my kids in daycare or school. I want to be able to travel with them and, you know, take them to Disney and do whatever they want, you know. And I don't, you know, I don't want to have to say, no, I can't do that because of work. You know, I want them to play sports and be really active. And, and if your work is really, you know, it's a really tedious schedule. So they can't, they won't be able to do everything that they want to do. And I really want them to enjoy life. And you only get one life. And I had a really good childhood when I grew up grew up. I was always in sports. I, I played musical instruments, quite a few of them. And so um, I was very grateful for my childhood. Um, my hard times didn't start until the economy started. But yeah, that's my why. And um, I'm a whole new person because of this company. And it's because I worked on my personal development. So if your business is not going good, you might want to look at yourself and Really dig into your why, write it down, and look at it every single morning because that will give you tons of motivation to get started for your day. And um, so I thank you. I'm sorry I made this so long, but I thank you for watching my video. And um, don't let anybody put you down. Everyone's different, kind, beautiful in their own way. Don't let anybody tell you different. And just remember, everyone has their own type of person, I guess, they want to be with on the outside. So don't take it personal. Everyone has somebody out there. So just ignore them. <laughs> don't go crying like I did and uh, let it control your life because I was ab absolutely miserable for a really long time. But I'm so glad I got involved. And I can't wait for you guys to get involved so I can help all of you. So click on my link below, see what I'm doing to take action in my life and how I'm changing into a person I want to be. And I can't wait to hear from all of you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on my next video. God bless.